Angry farmers across Europe converged outside the EU summit in Brussels today, hurling eggs and uh, starting fires. You're seeing the footage. They're demanding leaders do more about prices they say are driving them out of business. Today's demonstrations follow weeks of protests across the, the bloc. While the farmers are on today's agenda at the summit, it's not clear if any resolution will actually be reached. Joining us from Paris is CBS News foreign correspondent Elaine Cobb. Elaine, these protests were originally in France. Why have they spread so much? Lana, farmers across Europe have been suffering rising costs, loss of earnings and ruined crops for the last several years. Climate change has meant more droughts, more heat waves, and that has meant pastures have dried up, forcing livestock farmers to buy feed. It's meant that uh, harvesters have had to bring in seasonal workers earlier than usual with an extra cost just to bring in fruit or olives when they ripen earlier. And there's also rising fuel costs. Diesel is an unclean fuel for the European Union, so the subsidies on that are being withdrawn. But agricultural diesel is the main fuel for all farm machinery so the farmers say that is really hitting them hard they're also complaining about the eu rules on um, making everything greener they say that they are being asked to bear the brunt of some of the uh, bureaucracy <coughs> but also with having to make food more green friendly and they say that's just costing them a lot more and they would like to see that changed so there's frustration at the European kind of parliament, but France itself, uh, through its prime minister, unveiled a new set of measures that would help two major farmers' unions there. In response, those unions suspended their protests. What can you tell us about those measures and how it might impact the overall climate? Well, just three weeks into his new job, France's Prime Minister Gabriel Attal was forced to bring in new compromises because the farmers rejected his earlier measures. So he is offering them an easier way to make a living. He's saying, we want French food produced by French farmers and on French soil as a main idea, but also offering a $162 million financial aid package to livestock farmers. And he's also um, saying that they will ban the imports of fr cheaper fruit and vegetables, which are treated with a pesticide that is no longer allowed for use in Europe because it's harmful to bees. And that's something that the Europeans have been saying for a long time. We would like it to be not just a law for us, but if we're not allowed to use it, why are you allowed to bring in the food that involves it too? So, Elaine, uh, given that there are these developments that seem to be uh, made in terms of support for the farmers, do you expect that, because uh, in particular it sounded like you were addressing the plight of French farmers, that this will also spread to farmers in other nations in the EU? Yes. Now, the subject of agriculture was not on the agenda for this EU summit in Brussels. The farmers just thought this is a good time to let all the leaders know we're not happy. But already the president of the EU Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, has said we will pull together some ideas. We will present them to the next meeting of European ministers. And President Macron speaking at the summit said we really need a European-wide force to look at agricultural controls to make sure the food is safe and that farmers can produce it both safely and without it being so expensive that they find they can't keep going. And the EU has also said it will tackle another issue that has annoyed farmers all across Europe. It's that the bureaucracy. They say even when there are subsidies available, it takes them a full day sometimes just to fill out all the forms. So the EU says we will work on making that simpler. All right, Elaine Cobb, thank you.